Hi. So here in this question, we are given that there are three houses on each side of the road. Okay. So you'll have three houses on one end and three houses on the other end. Okay. The houses are of different colors and the names are P, Q, R, S, T, U, T, and U. The colors are red, blue, green, orange, yellow, and white. They are of different heights also. So you have to arrange the houses in terms of their location on the street as well as in terms of their height. Now T, the tallest house is exactly opposite to the red colored house. T house is exactly opposite to the red colored house and T is the tallest of all the houses. So T is the tallest. Okay. The shortest house is exactly opposite to the green colored house. Okay. So you'll have a green colored house and opposite to that you'll have the shortest house. Okay. U, the orange colored house is located between P and U. Okay. So U, the orange colored house is located between P and U. S. So you'll have P or S on the either side. S can be on the left side and P on the right side also. So that will be a second case. We'll draw the second case later on if required. Fine. So U is the orange colored house. We don't know the colors of P and S yet. Next R the yellow colored house is exactly opposite to P. So R the yellow colored house is exactly opposite to P. Next Q the green colored house is exactly opposite to U. So Q, which is a green colored house, is exactly opposite to U. Now we also know the shortest house is exactly opposite to the green colored house. That means U is the shortest house over here. Okay. And now finally, we know that P, the white colored house. So P is the white colored house. So this is white colored. P, the white colored house is taller than R. Okay. So P, sorry. P is taller than R, but shorter than S and Q, shorter than S and Q. So out of S and Q, we don't know which one is shorter, which one is taller, which one is shorter. S and Q is taller than P, which is taller than R. So of the six houses, T is the tallest, U is the shortest. S and Q will be second and the third tallest house. P and R are the fourth and the fifth tallest houses. U is the shortest house. This is what we know. So the only house left now is in this arrangement T which should come over here okay now let's try to figure out what are the colors of S T S and T we don't know the colors of S and T yet it's given that the house opposite to T is red colored house so house opposite to T is red colored house that means S is red colored house S is red colored house over here so this is white, orange, red, yellow, green. The only color left is blue. Hence, T is the blue colored house. So we know, we now know the arrangement of the heights and arrangement on the street. So let's look at the questions. First question is, what is the color of the house diagonally opposite to the yellow colored house? This is the yellow colored house. Diagonally opposite to it is S. The color of S is red. Hence, the answer will be option for red colored house. Now remember, you could have also drawn U, P and S like this. So if you draw S, U, P like this, then you'll have T, Q and R on this side of the street. The colors will still be same blue, green, yellow, red, orange and white. So still the house, op uh, the house diagonally opposite to the yellow colored house will be still red. So whatever the arrangement or whatever this case be, the answer will always be red over here. Okay. Let's look at the second question, which is the second tallest house. Now the second tallest house can be either S or Q. We don't know that for sure. Hence the answer will be cannot be determined. And finally, question three, what is the color of the tallest house? Now the tallest house is T and the color of T is blue. Hence the answer to this question is option two blue okay so that's it for the set thank you